Do you want to see the Fusion Climbing Hanger brake tested in sheer? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to Bolt Busters, where we break everything related to climbing bolts in every scenario you can imagine, just because we're curious. And today we're curious about the Fusion Climbing Hangers, what I would call the no-name brand, on Amazon.com. And these are the stainless steel version. They do sell a zinc plated version. I don't know why, maybe for inside climbing gyms? Because zinc plated shit should only be inside. Never use zinc plated bolts or hangers outside. And never mix zinc plated with stainless steel. So if you have a zinc plated hanger on a stainless steel bolt, you're going to get bimetallic corrosion and one of them is going to rust significantly faster than if it was paired with a similar metal. I'm not even going to brake test the 23 kilonewton zinc plated shit that Fusion sells, but only the stainless steel version because I'm not really worried about interior scenarios. I'm more focused on outdoor bolting. This is 30 kilonewtons of a minimum braking strength, as they claim. And what we got on our first brake test was 31.1 kilonewtons. And the second test we got was 29.56 kilonewtons, which is lower than the MBS, the minimum braking strength. And the last one we did get higher at 31.22 kilonewtons. Now, 29 kilonewtons is not going to kill anybody, but for $5, and 36 cents each. Um, they should not be breaking lower than the minimum breaking strength. The 30 kilonewton stainless steel hangers from Fix Hardware that are rated for only 30 kilonewtons also literally broke twice as high in the 50s and 60 kilonewton range. And they're only $2.95 each for these 304 stainless steel ones. So I don't recommend these unless you're need same day shipping, and I do believe you can get these on Amazon as well. So Fusion does not hold up to Fix Hardware. Now Fix Hardware does sell like zinc plated bolts, and I'm not stoked on that, and sometimes their website doesn't line up with their products, but not like in a terrible way. However, I love Fix Hardware's hangers. Now the way we tested these, as you saw, is, well you saw about that part of it, um, was the Titan HD concrete screws. And these do require an impact drill, which you already have a hammer drill to drill into your rock, but you do need a separate drill to install these because you can't just hammer them in and twist them with a wrench like you do with so many mechanical bolts. And glue and bolts require a whole bunch of extra shit anyways with glue and the glue guns and everything. However, uh, if you can take an extra drill, these Titan HD concrete screws have been our life-saving grace for these bolt buster tests because we kept reusing the same holes for all of our hanger tests. We kept using them over, over, and over, and over, and we were getting 40 and 50 kilonewtons before the heads were snapping off, and they're only a dollar each. So we buy them by the box, they are holding down our hydraulic cylinder, they're testing this kind of stuff for us, and any kind of experiments that are just whatever bolt we have, we can use, this is what we go with. Um, I don't believe that a hot, cold, hot, cold seasonal change is going to uh, unscrew them over time, making a loose hanger. Uh, we've done a lot of reusing the same holes and it's been great. We highly, highly, highly recommend this if you can use a drill, can't do that in a national park, and you're willing to carry it if you don't have a killer hike ahead of you. If you want to learn more about how to install bolts, glue-in, mechanical, or concrete threaded through screws, go to the Bolting Bible on slackademics.com. We have a lot of information on there so you can install the best bolts you possibly can. So people are not going to risk dying because of negligence and they don't have to be replaced every five or 10 years, which would make a negative impact on our climbing areas.